Hey everyone, I hope this finds you well. I just gotta say, wow, we are on a steep learning curve these last few weeks. Um, we are learning to do things in new ways at home. I know on our jobs and, and here at church too. Uh, we are doing things differently than we ever had before and doing things that um, we never even thought of, and yet here we are, and we're learning them. And everybody, we're all in this together. We're all learning, and um, it's scary and exciting all at the same time. You know, as this coronavirus continues, um, all of us have been impacted in different ways. Schools are empty, homes are full, uh, job places, they, they look so different in how your jobs get done. And social isolation, that's a term we didn't even know three months ago, and now we're, we're living in it. And I also know that some of you have been impacted yeah, a little bit harder than others, and, and maybe really hard. And so this is a time for some of us to look around and see the needs of the people around us, how we can reach out and share God's love with them. But also, it's a time for us to ask for help when we need it and, you know, to receive graciously what comes our way. I know we live in a time where we've learned to do things on our own and not to ask, but this is a different season. And so be willing to ask and, and let God provide people to help out. Today, I just wanted to share a little word of encouragement. Uh, you know, we are in our Red Letter Challenge, and at the beginning of the Red Letter Challenge, we encouraged everyone to you know, find a, a scripture for the uh, four weeks that we were in, or the 40 days we were in. And the as we were beginning that, the scripture I grabbed was, was Acts. I was just leaving the Gospel of John and starting in Acts, and from Acts 1, I came a, across this passage, and it, it was Jesus' words, it's red letters, it works. Um, that our word of encouragement to us at a time where maybe we feel like we weren't prepared for this, God is telling us that we are prepared. Jesus was telling his disciples that they were prepared. So hear these words from Jesus just before he ascends into heaven. And the disciples, they wanted to get everything in place. They wanted to, they, they wanted to know the when and the how. They wanted to get the itinerary of what was going to happen. And Jesus was telling them, you don't need to know that because I'm going to be with you. My Holy Spirit is going to be upon you. Listen to how this goes. This is Acts 1, verses 6 to 8. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to all the ends of the earth. They thought that to be prepared, they needed to know the specifics in advance. And Jesus was telling them, you don't need to know that. Leave that to the Father. But here's the deal. The Holy Spirit's going to come upon you. The Holy Spirit's going to be in you. And so when you find yourself in those places, you are going to be prepared because we're with you. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And, and the Holy Spirit will lead and he will guide and not only that, in the situations that they were going to go into, they would be end up being his witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, and to Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. As we come into this time where maybe we think we weren't really prepared for where we are today, Jesus tells us we are prepared. We might have not seen it coming three months ago or in, in January 1st, 2020. I don't think any of us predicted it. But God is telling us, I I'm with you. And not only am I going to be with you, not only will you have my power within you, do you have you, my power within you, but on top of that, you're going to be my witnesses. And people are going to see me in you. And so Jesus was asking his disciples, he's asking us to trust him, to trust him that, that he's not surprised by all this. He saw it coming, and he has prepared us. And we are prepared.
for the moment that we're in. So let's have our eyes open to Jesus. Let's have our eyes open to the people around us and trust that through all this, we are going to be witness to Jesus Christ for his glory in all of this. You have a great day, and we will see you Sunday, and God bless.